Hi guys, so I have a review for you today. This is from La Chat, is the name brand, and this is their Modern Muse collection. This is a fall collection, and these particular polishes come with two polishes. So one you get your gel polish, and then you get your regular polish. The way that they have this advertised is that you can use the gel polish and then use this to touch up or use this on its own, so it's a nice little feature to make your manicure last a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and run through the colors real quick, but I wanted to show you guys the packaging because their packaging is absolutely stunning. I really do appreciate it, so I wanted to make sure to show that. So, so this is what the box looks like when you receive it. So you can see on this side you have your gel polish, and then on this side you have your regular nail polish. And then you open it up just like this. And in there you get your polishes, like I said. On the packaging itself, it gives you some information about each of the polishes. It does say to shake them, which base coats they recommend, the timing for the gel polish, you know, how long to cure it in LED or UV. So I'm going to go ahead and run through all the colors. I just really wanted to show you guys the packaging. because. So the first color we're looking at today is Olivia, and it's this beautiful olive color. They have really nice packaging. The brush is what I would consider a standard brush, so that's what it looks like, the top. And then this is glass, of course, and plastic on the top. And on the bottom there, it tells you the color as well as the number. And then that's what their little logo looks like. And then the gel polish comes in white. It has the name right on the front, and then it has a little color indicator, which is pretty true to color, I would say. And the brush, again, is a fairly standard brush. So here are the swatches. On this side we have the polish and on this side we have the gels. You can see they're basically identical. So like, a so the next color is this one here and this is Felicity. Here are the swatches. So this side here is the polish and this side is the gel polish. And both of these were opaque in two coats. I didn't have any issues with either of them. They both applied really well. They do have a little bit of an odor to them, you know, the nail polish smells like nail polish and the gel polish smells like gel polish, so it's nothing out of the ordinary, it's not extremely strong, but there is a scent there. I know that some people are always curious about that, so I just thought I'd mention it. So the next color in the collection is Destiny, and this is a beautiful dark blue, but it's not quite a midnight blue, it has a little bit of a green tint to it, hopefully that comes out. It looks more evergreen, but very dark. And again, these were both opaque in two coats. They are cream finish, so there is no glitter or mica in them. And again, this is the color Destiny. Next, we have the color Grace, which is what I'm actually wearing on my nails right now, and the color that you will see me apply in the demonstration. So when looking at these two colors, there is a little bit of a difference. So this one is the polish, and this is the gel polish. So if you look, the gel polish is just a smidge lighter than the regular polish, but I think so I think you could polish this over this one and still get away with it, you know, if you needed to repair a chip or anything, but I will note that they are just the tiniest bit different. They did go on evenly and they did cure very well as far as the gel goes, and like I said, two coats and they were completely opaque as you can see here. And again, that is the color Grace. So the next color in this collection is Harmony, and this is a beautiful chocolatey color. And again, there is just the slightest different in color. Hopefully it's coming across on screen. So this one here is just a smidge lighter than this one, and this is the polished side, and then this is the regular color. But honestly, if you were looking at this on someone's hands, I don't think that you would notice the difference. It's just here where I'm analyzing it underneath my bright lights. This one is just the tiniest bit lighter. So again, this color is Harmony, I applied in two coats, and they are cream finish, just like the others. So the last color in the collection is Athena, and it's this beautiful deep red, but it pulls a little bit more berry than it does like a true brick red or a true fire engine red. It has just a little bit of kind of a purpley berry undertone to it. I find this color absolutely stunning. I was looking through all of my collection of polishes, and I don't have one that is this color or even in this color family. Um, I really do like this color. I think it might be my favorite out of the collection, this one or Destiny, definitely. Um, the colors match very well, as you can see. So on this side we have the polish, and then on this side we have the gel. And again, that is the color Athena. So here they are all together, so you guys kind of get an idea of the colors next to each other. And again, like I said, this is the Modern Muse collection from La Chat. 
Now these were sent to me by LeChat, but of course that doesn't change the way I feel about a product. If I like it, I'll let you guys know. If I don't, I'll also let you guys know. I will have all of the links down below for these products if you guys are interested. And again, these are the Modern Muse collections, or you can buy them individually. You do not have to buy them as a complete collection, of course. So I just wanted to talk real quick about the formula. These are a cream finish polish, so that means that there's no glitter or mica. It is just the color. They are very pigmented. I had no issues with the pigmentation. They all went on opaque within two coats. Some Athena was one that stuck out as far as pigmentation goes, one coat, and I honestly could have stopped there, but I did do the two coats on the swatches just to keep things consistent. So I really do like the formula of this. Now I don't have their base coat and top coat, so I can't tell you guys how those particular products wear, but I did test these out with a few different of my base coats and top coats and a couple different ones that I like. So this is my third time wearing their polishes, and like I stated before, I'm wearing Grace right now, but I've also worn Athena and then another color from another collection, which is this one here, which is mainly a nude collection. Um, this particular color is called Laced Up, and this was the other color that I wore in case you guys were interested in that. And they all wore well. I didn't have any issues. There was no chipping aside from one base coat that I tried, um, but it was the base coat, not the polish itself, so I can't knock anything off of so I can't knock anything off of this particular polish for that. That was the base coat. I did test it with another product, just to be sure. So really there's nothing else to say. Like I said, there was no issue. I did cure these both in my LED and UV lamp and I had no issue there. They cured um, in my two-in-one. I believe it was 15 seconds that I had it set to. I guess I overdid it. So here on the back of the packaging it says for a 36 watt UV lamp cure for one minute and 30 seconds in an LED. And like I said, for a two-in-one I did cure that in 15 seconds and it worked just fine doing it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and cut into the demonstration so you guys can see that. Overall, I was very impressed with the polishes, had no issues. Like I said, pigmentation, curing, anything. So I do recommend these if you guys are looking for new polishes out there. This brand is new to me, but I was very impressed, like I said, with the packaging. Even the handwritten note that they gave me, you know, it's all very nice and nice attention to detail. I wanted to say thank you to LeChat for sending me these products to review. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And as always, thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and get started into that demonstration.